YouTubers, Mike Martins here, Mike Martins channel. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another great housing story. This was sent to me a few days ago, but I've been backtracked. Glass of wine a day is the latest condo incentive in slumping Vancouver. Oh my God, what the heck is going on here, people? What the heck is going on? How about a glass of wine with a condo, with that condo? Well, what's going on, people? Well, you know, the slumping housing market in Vancouver is taking its toll and there's a lot of people, if they bought in the last four years, three to four years, they're right now sitting underwater. If they didn't touch on their uh, equity in their home and take a HELOC or a second mortgage, they'll be fine. They should be okay for now. If they put down 30 40% down, they shouldn't be too, too bad right now. But if that wasn't the case, then watch out because things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. How about a glass of wine with that condo? Vancouver developer West Group Properties is offering a boozy incentive starting next month at the Riverfront Development on indication just how much the market has slowed in the city the one two and three bedroom units starting at five hundred and nineteen thousand dollars that's for a one bedroom by the way with uh completion expected by the summer of 2022 those who sign up to the project will get one thousand five hundred dollar gift card enough for roughly one bottle of wine a week for a year according to an email statement where did that go uh, email statement from the developer that will get you six glasses of British Columbia Merlot a week and and a day of rest. So what do you guys think? Is this is this one sly or is this better than the one that Australia did with that whole? Yeah, you know which one I'm talking about. Where I'll leave a link at the um at the end of the at the end of this video. You'll see a link on top. Click on it. What what Australians did to try and promote housing. The one two bedroom, okay, I read that. Uh, Vancouver was one, was once one of the world's hottest housing markets at its peak in 2016. Buyers would often queue for days to get first dibs on units and put down 20% deposits, then flip the contract to a premium before completion. The market has since turned and incentives. The, the avocado toast price cuts are mushrooming. Benchmark Vancouver home prices drop 8.5% from April from a year earlier, while the sales to new listings ratio, ratio a measure of how tight particular market is, is at its lowest since 2008. Now, here you go, guys. This is this is the wine. Now they're giving out wine. They did avocado toast. I forgot that one. I forgot the avocado toast. I gotta put that one. At, 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 it's right here at the end of this video. Watch it. So what are they? So it's gonna get worse before it gets better, guys. It's because people can't secure the financing. Even even if they got rid of the, the stress testing, I, I think it still will be tough. Uh, because people's total debt service ratio, if the banks do things by the books, their total debt service ratio still wouldn't be in line because of the cost of, of just the cost of living. Everything around, around the mortgage payment is, is beyond. Property taxes going up. Hmm. Does that seem like a good incentive enough not to buy? Let me know what you guys think. Think of, uh, if you have any articles pertaining to, um, builders or sellers getting creative with how they want to, show their properties off in a very nostalgic and cool way. Please leave a link below. I'd like to know. Mike Martin's here. Woo! From the Mike Martin's channel. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you want to support this transmission, share one of my videos. Woo!